The following is a basic configuration of several specific VLANs for our cameras, for our voice over IP phones, and for our data network. And we will also create an SD-WAN zone that will load balance the traffic. So let's start. All right, so we will start by creating the VLANs for our dedicated cameras, our dedicated voice over IP phones, and the data network. We will do it over port four. So let's start, create new interface. Let's name our first VLAN, VLAN 10. The alias will be cameras. And the interface is port four. The VLAN ID is 10 and the subnet is 10.0.10.1 slash 24. Now, don't forget on each VLAN, be sure that the create address object matching subnet is enabled. We will use it on our policy. Let's just enable HTTPS. And our DHCP server will allocate... Um, um, we will not use the full pool of IP addresses. All right, so that's our first VLAN. The second VLAN is VLAN 20. And it is dedicated for our voice over IP. Port four. And let's just use the 20 subnet. And again, let's just use a limited amount of IP addresses. And let's create our third um, VLAN, which is 30. And it is dedicated to our data network. All right, now there we have it. We have three VLANs. Now let's move to our policy and objects make sure that we have the addresses for each all right now another thing that we have is two isp interfaces two one interfaces so let's create an sd-wan zone uh, for those um, i have already created a zone named it vlan so let's just uh, put the different ISPs on that zone. Let's just use that. We will not use a coast. We will only use we will only use it for load balancing. All right. And the second one is number two, which is And there it is. So we have two interfaces on um, a specific SD1 zone. Let's just create an SLA for this one. Uh, name it um, load balancing VLAN. All right, and let's use Google's DNS server. We're doing a very basic uh, SD1 zone. But the um, but let's use another load balancing method. Let's use the volume method. So we will make sure that our fastest ISP will get 70% of the traffic. And our second ISP will get only 30% of the traffic. All right. Now, Let's move and create zone for our specific VLANs. So let's name that VLANs and let's add up our four VLAN groups, which is the camera, the voice over IP and our data VLAN. All right. And now we can actually use this zone uh, towards the internet using our policy. 
So let's create a new firewall policy. Let's just before that make sure that we have a static route. No, we don't. So let's use our SD WAN interface as the uh, static route. As you can see, we are not. Um, we do not need to enter our gateway since each ISP, each WAN has its gateway already configured on our SD WAN zone. All right. Now let's create our firewall policy. And let's name that VLANs out. The incoming interface is our VLAN. The outgoing interface is our new SD WAN zone, which is VLANs. The source is our sources that we have created. Remember, we have created three addresses uh, by creating the VLAN interface. The destination will be all, the service will be all, and you can, of course, enable um, any security profile that you wish to do. All right, and now let's create another firewall policy and let's just make our firewall policy between the different VLANs. So we have our VLAN, the outgoing interface is again our VLANs. The addresses are the addresses that we have configured. Uh, the destination is again our addresses and the service is O. All right. So we have configured two firewall policies between VLANs and VLAN towards our internet. We have configured uh, VLANs as a zone and we have also created address object for each VLAN. The other thing that we have done is to create an SD-WAN zone which will enable a load balancing between our two ISP-WAN interfaces.